So after years of being on Team Green, I've decided, let's check out Team Red. I have not tried AMD graphics cards before, at least in my own personal computer, so I figured we're going for an upgrade, why not do it? So I'm talking a little bit about this PC upgrade. Um, if you watched my last video, I just upgraded um, my water cooling system. So I have a new CPU, new motherboard, upgrade to RAM and all that. And uh, the graphics cards I carried over from my last build, they're dual 670s. I still think the dual 670s are probably a little bit more p powerful than one RX 480. But, uh, you know, new things are cool. Uh, we're also going to redo my power supply to the RM750X. Right now I have a 650 watt, I think, something like that in there. And uh, we're adding two more sticks of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM in there. I like to keep boxes, you can see behind me. I keep all my boxes and stuff, and uh, I don't have any AMD cards. Ooh, it's a bigger card than I thought. That's a, that is a beefy card, I'm not gonna lie. That might honestly interfere with my water cooling. No video could ever be easy. So, um, all right, so here is the RX 480. Again, this is a beefy card. This is a, a fairly large card. Very nice backplate for uh, the GPU. I have nice backplates on uh, my 670s too, that's really nice to have. Nice MSI logos and all that, very, very cool. Two display ports, two HDMI ports, and our DVI-D. may screw with uh, my water cooling. GPU number one. All right. I guess in size comparison, it's not that much larger. It's about an extra inch. So I think it'll probably be fine. All right. Nice click. Yeah, it's not gonna fit in there. It's possible I could take out the bottom fan and it would fit in there. In fact, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. And I think that should give me enough room to put my pump and reservoir in here. There we go. RM750X by Corsair. A fully modular 750 watt power supply. I believe this is gold, plat uh, yeah, gold rated, 80 plus gold. Cables are all in these nice little pouches. And the power supply itself. A nice sleeved bag, very, very nice. Here we are with the power supply. So fully modular, so all the cables um, can plug in, and then all the cables come in a little pouch right here. So you can basically use the cables that you need and plug them in as you need them. And uh, of course, just on-off switch and you know your typical uh, plug-in for power supplies. Well, this screw is just not going to go in because it doesn't align. So whatever, lost interest in that. Will the pump and water supply? fit here without that fan. Uh, if I move the power connector above. Oh ho ho! Just barely. But it works. We have our two more sticks of Dominator Platinum, DDR4, uh, each stick is 8 gigabytes. Uh, so I'm gonna have 32 gigabytes total of DDR4 3000 Dominator Platinum RAM. There's little lights underneath uh, that light up real nice, so that's real cool. That nice on there. Our front pane. And the side panel.
seems to all be still working fine and doesn't seem to have any issues. Uh, the new graphics card is installed. Again, bigger than my 670. It looks a little bit cleaner too. I like this look a lot. But um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, assuming nothing else catastrophically fails, we have done it. Um, yeah, like the video, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.